Later that day, Olson unexpectedly returned home, accompanied by co-worker John Stubbs, a man who was also at the retreat. Frank explained the presence of his co-worker to his wife, saying, They're afraid I might hurt you. He continued, informing her that he had already agreed to undergo psychiatric treatment. He left the house that same day with Vincent Ruitt and the chemist who had dosed all the participants at the cabin, CIA operative Robert Lashbrook. This would be the last time his wife saw him alive. The three men flew to New York, where they met with the CIA-linked medical doctor, Harold Abramson, who had worked for years with Olson previously. Four days later, the night manager at the hotel found Frank Olson dead on the sidewalk. He tried to say something in his final breath, but it was nothing more than a mumble. The police quickly responded and found Robert Lashbrook sitting on the toilet in the room he shared with Olson. After questioning him, they closed the report, coming to the conclusion that Olson had purposely thrown himself out of the window. However, also written in the port was a statement from the switchboard operator, who said he connected a brief call from Olson and Lashbrook's room to a number belonging to Harold Abramson. Lashbrook. Well, he's gone. Abramson. Well, that's too bad.